track. For more information on that one, go check out the Manx Smoking History Collie Speedway Facebook page or www.colliespeedway.com.au. So the lights are still illuminated. Generally, we'll give them one more lap around. Bottrell and Tim King have both been unlucky so far this season for Tim King. He was leading the feature race at Allenbrook Speedway. I sadly saw his demise happen when he had made contact with a lap competitor. Craig Bottrell was involved in a nasty incident during the heat races at the Perth Motorplex where it was none of his own doing for the first time this season outside of the metropolitan area the limited sprint cars invade the country 10 laps is the journey for heat race number one for round number three it's going to be Bottrell and Tim King to lead us away five of them two by two as they get the green and it's Tim King with a darning start on the top side as Newson and Michael Keane the first ones to fire some shots through the back of the field as they go into places four and five but it's Morris King who will lead us through lap number one. Michael Keane on a charge from position number seven the West Australian champion up to four but he's now going to have to chase another one of his Bunbury counterparts as Gamma Davis holds on to that last spot inside the top three. So Tim King leads after two laps as they move out of turn number two. Back in second place, Craig Bottrell, then Gavin Davis. Michael Keane in fourth and then in fifth position is Alex Williams. A race leader back with us once again is car number 51, Tim King. That time around a 15.925. Uh, back to Bottrell, Davis, Keane in fourth place. And uh, behind them is Alex Williams, Brooke Newson is next. Then Joel Etridge, Brad uh, Warwick, Tony Priscillo and Jack McDermott. Four down and six to go, no change. Our race set is getting further in front. Tim King out by 2.6 seconds. So move down the main straight, the main body of the field. Our race leader is half a lap ahead of that main body as they come up now to lap Jack McDermott at the halfway mark. Jack McDermott will be the first one to go on lap down in car number 11. As a 51 has caught a big margin. It's 2.9 seconds with a good race at the moment between the two Bunbury counterparts of Gamma Davis, a fine time former West Australian champion, and Michael Keane, our current state champion, who looks to the bottom of the Martin Engineering car number eight. So pair of him still going at it for that last spot inside the podium, but King is on a plan of his own with three laps remaining. They move down the main straight. Our race leader is uh, Tim King. He's now in the back straight, well clear of Craig Bottrell by three and a half seconds. Dusty, dry, warm conditions, but they're all getting around nicely at the moment. Out in front, Tim King will have two laps to go. Bottrell in second place. Up for third place is still that of Davis. Right behind him, Michael Keane. Alex Williams having a lonely race in fifth all by himself. Back then to Brooke Newson is six as the white flag comes out. One lap to go for Tim King. And he's really got it all to himself at the moment as Bottrell is still now 3.9 seconds. That gap just continues to grow despite having to get through lap competitors. It's all been one man for a more and Tim King has a mighty race. Takes down heat race number one. Bottrell come home in second and ended up pulling away in the last two stages is that of Davis. Then it's Michael Keane, Alex Williams, Brooke Newsom. Joel Etteridge will come home in seventh place for Brad Warwick and Tony Prickillo with Jack McDermott one lap down, so too as well was the 46. But the race completed in the 10 laps in 2 minutes 35.407 with a winning margin of 3.978 seconds. It's all Tim King, the Red Bank Engineering car number 51. He also had the quickest lap of the race with a 15.183. It's King, Bottrell and Gavin Davis the way we see in one through three in heat race number one. An entertaining one from the limited sprint cars in their opening heat. Uh, yes, an entertaining race. Um, a little bit dusty, no doubt about that, as the 